Today we will schedule Power Automate desktop flows. We will use the Windows Task Scheduler because it's right in front of us and then we will use the Power Automate Cloud. So two options in this video, we will start with the simplest one. I'll go to Power Automate Desktop and then I'll say New Flow. We will create a demo flow. I will call this one Open Website and I will click Create. So a fun little demo. It's not important uh, the quality of this desktop flow since it will we'll just need to see it run. Go up and find a launch new Microsoft Edge and drag it in here. We will go to a URL. So in the initial URL, you will say https colon two forward slashes anasjensen.org. Then we will click save. So that's it. That's our very simple flow. I'll click save. When we saved it, you will close it. We need to touch two settings. The first one is that we go up to settings here and in the display confirmation dialog when invoking flows externally, that one is tick, untick it. That means that when we schedule our flows from the Windows task scheduler, we will not get a prompt up. So that require human intervention and that will not be beneficial for us. So I'll click save. The second setting that we'll need to do is that I can click cancel here is that we need to find the link to this flow that we just created. So in the open website, I click this three dots, I go to properties. If you're in general, you just click on details. In the run URL, this is the link to your flow that we just created. Go over here and click copy, then you'll see a green check mark. Now we have that in our clipboard. I can click cancel and we can open up the Windows task scheduler. To open it, you go down here to your Windows start menu. Then you'll type task scheduler and I'll open that one. So this is a place where you can schedule all sorts of tasks on your local Windows machine. And that's why it's so easy because it's already here in our machine. Go up here and click this arrow on the task scheduler library. You can see that you have several folders. I have four here. What we want to do is to right click and choose a new folder. We will create a new folder for our Power Automate desktop scheduled flows. So here I can say Power Automate Desktop and I'll click OK. If I click that folder, you can see that it's empty. We have no tasks in it. I can maximize this whole thing. We can create a task or we can create a basic task. The only difference here is that a basic task is more simple to set up, whereas a task is uh, more advanced to configure. You can always convert a basic task to a more advanced task. So let's just start with a basic task. To create a basic task, you can either go over here to the folder and right click, create basic task. You can go in here, create basic task, or you can go over here and click create basic task. Here we will give it a name. I will call mine open web site like this and I'll click next. Then we need to choose a trigger. Here I can choose to run it in a daily schedule or a monthly schedule or whatever I want. Again, we can see that we only have seven triggers here. And again, if we go advanced in the create task, we will have more options. Don't worry, we can always make this more advanced. So let's just choose daily and click next. When do I want to start? I click this drop down and let's say that I want to start tomorrow. I want to start at, let's say, seven o'clock. So I'll say seven o o o o a m. This is the time zone of my machine. I want to make this flow task to run every day with my flow in. We will get the flow inside this task in a few seconds. Then we'll click next. What do I want to do? Well, I want to start a program. So have that one, start a program, click next. Then I need to have the executables of the program that I need to start. And here I want the Power Automate desktop launcher. So I'll click browse here. And what you need to do is to go to your this PC, your C drive or wherever you install your programs on. I'll go into program files. 
I'll scroll down and find Power Automate Desktop. Double click here. And this is the directory with a lot of folders and files in. You will need to scroll down to PAD. Here it is. And you'll need to find the pad.consolehost.exe. Click that a single time with your mouse. You will see it down here. This is the executable that we will need to launch our Power Automate desktop flow. Then you will click open. In add arguments, you just press control V that will paste in the link to the flow that we just created. And it's important, this is the exact link to the flow that you want to start. Then you'll click next and you'll click finish. So right now this flow will run every day at seven o'clock starting from tomorrow. If you want to edit that a bit, you can just double click it up here. And if we can either edit actions, conditions, we can add settings. Now we can add a lot of more advanced things. For example, if I go into triggers, I'll click edit. Here I can schedule it to repeat every hour, every minute, whatever I want. So now we're getting more advanced. We just chose the basic task to set it up very easily. Anyway, I will not touch on this, but feel free to choose a more advanced schedule. I can just close this one down. Since we're not going to wait for tomorrow to see that we can actually run things from here, you can mark your task up here and then you can press run here. That will run your task. It might take 10 to 20 seconds. There it is. Now we're starting up the desktop flow. So we ran our desktop flow to the task scheduler. And this is how you're using the task scheduler to schedule flows. You can go more advanced. The most efficient way is to use the Power Automate Cloud. And let me close this one here. We can also close the task scheduler. You might, if you're not uh, going to use this, you might want to delete the folder and the task. You'll need to delete the task first, just so it don't start up a flow tomorrow when you don't really want it. So here I just deleted that one again, but feel free to add it or keep it. Now we want to run our desktop flows from Power Automate Cloud. And if I go to my browser, I navigate to powerautomate.com. So let's create a new flow that will start up a desktop flow and it will have a schedule on. So what you need to find here is to go into create, choose the schedule cloud flow here, and we can give our flow a name. We will create a little bit a different flow, desktop flow for this time. So let's just call this tasks. When does it need to start? Again, let's start tomorrow at seven o'clock. This is UTC time. We will fix that as well. How often should it run? Let's just run it every day and we'll click create. Now we have a flow that run each day at seven o'clock UTC time. Let's change the time zone. Click the recurrence here, click edit, show advanced options. And here in this drop down, you will find the UTC plus one and that will be Copenhagen. Of course, if you live in a different time zone than me, just find your own time zone. That's it. Then we will add a new step. And to run a desktop flow, you will say run a flow built with Power Automate for a desktop. So that is this one you will need. And here you will either see this message where it says connect machine group domain and username and password, or you will get an error. If you get an error here, that means that you have an old connection that we need to either remove or fix. The easiest fix is to click these three dots and down here it will say, uh, it will show your erroneous connection. Just make new connection and then you will also see this. In the end of this video, I'll show you how to remove old connection and machines. But right now we need to um, specify if we want to connect directly to the machine, that's the setting that you want to go. Then we want a machine name, a domain and username and a password. We get the, these when we configure the machines where our scheduled flows needs to run. And let's say that I want to run it on an external machine. We need to do a few things. First, we will need a desktop flow. That will just be a very easy flow. So I'll go back to desktop. This is just another sample, sample flow. 
So I'll create a new flow. Again here, I will call this how many tasks. This will just be a simple flow that will prompt the user for an answer. And that means that we can test that we have two way communication between cloud and desktop. Up an input output variable, click this plus choose input. And let's call this day this input variable that means that it comes from Power Automate Cloud and go inside the Power Automate desktop. I'll call this day and it will also be called day in Power Automate Cloud. That is what we define here in external name, you are allowed to have different names, feel free to do so. It will be a text variable, fine, I'll click save. We'll also have an outgoing variable and again, so we can test two way communication. Click this plus click output. This one here, I will call answer. And the external name will also be answer. So I'll click save. Now we will have one action that will be a display input dialog. So that's here. And in the input dialog message, I will ask how many tasks did you complete on and then we will have the date. And we will have a question mark. So the date will be in here, we will use a variable for that. So I move inside here, I click this little x and I choose the day, the day come again, from Power Automate Cloud. This will produce variables, both what button we press and what answer the user gives. I can also just have this keep input dialog always on top, then it will be a little bit more easy to see. I click this drop down. I will not use the button pressed. So I deactivate that. But I will use the user input. I will not use this name, I'll click this X and choose answer instead. So it will get stored in the answer variable, which we will send back to cloud. That's it. Save. So a very simple desktop flows with an input and an output variable. Now you can click save. Again, remember, we call this how many tasks, I can close this one down. We need to set up the machine runtime on the machine where we want to schedule flow to run. In my case, I have a virtual machine, but it could be your laptop over here or your server, whatever, everything goes or it can actually be this machine that we're working on now. But I want to schedule it here on my virtual machine. That means that I need to install the machine runtime. I open up a browser that could be edge. I go to Google. And again, this is my machine where the desktop flow should run on. It's a virtual machine. It's not my developer machine. It's a machine up in the cloud. Here, I will say download Power Automate desktop, search for that. And then you're not picking the sponsored one, choose the one that says install Power Automate, click that one here, scroll down, find the download uh, the Power Automate installer, click that one here, that will download the setup. It will take again 10 seconds. Your antivirus defender will probably check the file to see it's okay. It's coming from Microsoft. So yes, it's okay. Then once we have downloaded it, we will click open file here, we will open this executable. Don't worry, just click once. It will take like 20 to 30 seconds before it shows up. While we're waiting here, please give this video a thumbs up if it helps you. That will really help my channel and improve the reach of all these videos, then I can make more. So this is the machine runtime setup. And it's actually the power automate desktop setup, click next. This is again the third party machine where our desktop flow should run, I will not install the power automate desktop here. So untick this, that is because I don't want to develop my flows on this machine, I just want them to run on that machine. What I need to do is to install the machine runtime app to connect to the power automate cloud portal. This is the application that makes the connection a success that will connect cloud to desktop. So that one we need. If we need browser extensions, uh, you also need to install those and agree to the terms. I'll click install. We're not going to use browser extensions for this exercise, but you might want to develop more advanced flows and deploy them to this machine, then we will need to install the browser extensions. I will fast forward to this setup is done.
that's it. You might want to enable the extensions for Microsoft Edge if you're going to use those. Since we are not, I will skip this step and just click launch app. Since we haven't installed Power Automate Desktop, this will launch the machine runtime app. We might need to log in if you haven't logged in on this machine before, and we need to specify an environment. Here it is. So click this drop down and choose the environment that you want to target. I only have one on this tenant here. That will be the Anna Jensen default. In two seconds, you will see that we succeeded. You will have a green check mark. And we have set up the machine runtime on the machine where we want to have the scheduled desktop flows to run. We are uh, taking a little bit. That's it. We can see that we are connected. Great. We connect into the environment. We can see that the machine name is called Anas Demo VM. This is just the name that Windows gave it. Or in fact, I gave it. But uh, yours will, of course, have another name. We are done with the machine runtime. You can close this. We're also done with the browser here. But one thing we need to do is to grab the domain and username. Click the start menu, type in CMD for command prompt, click enter. That will open up the command prompt. Here you will type in who am I and click enter. That will give you the domain and username, which we're going to use in the Power Automate Cloud. So what we do now is to we can also close this one. I minimize my virtual machine. I jump over to my developer machine. Then I go to Power Automate Cloud. We have started this schedule flow. So in this drop down in the machine or machine group, you might not see your machine. Just click this refresh and the newly created machine is here. That's it. Domain and username. Make sure to delete these two and press Control V. That was the one that we got from um, the virtual machine or whatever machine you chose. Then we need a password. This is the Windows password of that machine. I have it over here on my other screen. So I might want to do this. And I paste it in here. Now you will click Create. Then if you done it right, I will just say no here. It will give us a few errors. That is just because we want to have a desktop flow specified and a run mode specified. It's not 100% um, that you also got this one, but these ones are cursed. Don't worry. We will fix them by clicking this drop down. We called ours how many tasks. Again, if you don't see your process here, then you can always just refresh and find it. We can choose between two run modes. We can either have the attended or unattended. Attended means that we are locked in and we started from here. Unattended means that we are not signed in. That means that we can run on the night when we are signed out and the robot can work autonomously. Since I only have the attended license uh, and not the unattended, I will go with the attended, but pick the one that you want to pick. Then we can see that this day field emerges when we pick the how many tasks. And that's because we created an input variable in our desktop flow. So now we can specify a day here. I might say Wednesday like this. This is hard coded. In a real life scenario, you might want to have dynamic values going in and out of these probably from SharePoint, Excel, Outlook, whatever. But this is just to see how it's set up. Now I can click save here and this flow will run each day at I believe it was seven o'clock when we did it and we can actually test it so to test it save it go up here save manually run the flow click done now i navigate to the machine where we install the machine runtime and where we define that this flow should run and this was my virtual machine where we installed everything so i opened that one up now and again, there might be a little bit delay here. It first need to establish the connection and then we will run the flow while we do that. Oh, here it is. How many tasks did you complete on Wednesday? Well, I was extremely busy. Should we say I completed 23 tasks? That's it. I'll click OK. The flow is done here. Power Automate Desktop closes again on the virtual machine. That was because our desktop flow only had one action can move out of this here it's still running and now you can see that our flow ran successfully 
if you go in here, you will see that um, all the basic um, parameters, desktop flow, run mode, and the data that we provided, but you will also see that we get this 23 back from desktop. So now we have two-way communication. I promise you to show you a few tricks about the setup, especially about the connections and the machine. If you go over here to data and inside the connection, then you can find the connections that you have already made. For example, I scroll down. This is the connection that I just made to my Honors Demo VM. If you have old connections, you can always click these three dots and click delete to remove them. And again, we can go to monitor. You can go to machines and these are the machines that we have created. For example, this is the one that we just got. Now you should go network, get help with solutions from more than 6,000 RPA developers. Your guidance invitation is right up here. We discuss a lot of Power Automate. We get better and lift each other up. I really hope to see you there.